What's up, guys? It's been a while since I shot a video. Uh, just wanted to show you a little update. These guys are getting big. They're getting really cool. They're getting some cool stuff. And Duke's like, his lips are starting to get big. You know, they'll grow out really big. There's my female. She's back in, Venustus. But I see a little dig in the back. I've been out of town. That, that actually happened pretty quick. There's a big pile back there. I don't know if anybody's mating. She's still eating, so I know she isn't uh, holding or anything. Man, that Cygnus is big. Man, that's a big boy. He's still getting chased around a little bit by this guy. Red Empress. I don't know what his deal is. Hopefully they can chill out at some point. He's putting on some big size for Hap. He's, he's getting good. The Boca, his face is turning more blue. So I'm glad to see that. That's kind of recent. He's getting more blue in the face. That's pretty cool. And there's a dig here. I've just been leaving it alone because they keep digging it and I don't want it to go in that intake right there. So it's hard to see the intake because it's all clean. But uh, you can definitely see the difference in the size. You can see those two guys right there. And again, that's kind of a different breed. Zachariah. So he just kind of, he's kind of small. But it's like when you've been away from your fish for like a week, you know, they look kind of different. <laughs> um, you know, when you look at them, he's about eight, about eight inch. They're bigger than my cell phone, 14 Pro. But uh, everybody's looking good. Everybody survived. It's out of town. Has some people feeding them and taking care of them. I cut down quite a bit. Let me crank this up. You know, I cut them down to like every other day feeding, which is good for when I'm out of town. I'm not asking too much of my, my people's helping feed. But um, I like when I come back and every you know everything's chill, nobody's beat up looking. Um, I guess just a tip there. I'm doing water change before I leave. Um, so, you know, everything's at a lower stress, you know, clean water. So just kind of doing that and looking at everything real close, looking at the parameters real close before I leave, stuff like that. So, you know, it's good to have somebody that feeds. Luckily, all I do is get those little measuring cups and I only need to put, lift this one thing up. Um, and he actually knows how to pa pause the wave maker, which I just cranked up. So you're going to see some stuff flying. But um, it's been a while, probably like a month since I posted. You know, I've just been doing water changes and and uh, took a couple. You know, it's funny is the only thing I did at last water change was take out like two more plants back here, which I was trying to kind of alleviate this like hole over here. And um, as soon as I did, it just like made a space. So, you know, give them an inch, they'll take a mile. You can see why I cranked this wave maker up. You can see some stuff like flowing around here on the bottom. Real good. You know, that's what that flow would do. Of course, they're pickers, sifters. So you're seeing the boo boo get moved around and now it's up in the water and you can see it go right into the filter right there. So that's why I have to crank that up every once in a while. I don't leave it on high because of, uh, I've got good flow from one, two, three, four outputs. You can see the bubble line. If I get close, you can see the the bubble line in here. It moves pretty good, but you know, crank that up every once in a while. Get some of that stuff. It'll clean the bottom. I don't really see it much in that um, that sand that I use. I never really gave you a close up of this. So there is a little a dip here that's new. If I get right here, you can see it. So I think that's a pretty big fish. that's kind of made that. So I'm thinking if I can move this right to here, 
I kind of had it lined up on these posts or the in inflows. I think if I move that right here, there'll be one more territory like right here. So if I move this just a little bit, anyway, I always tune in. But, you know, I try to keep this tank level, which is near impossible. But, um, you know, if you can have little habitats, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's bad too, because that <laughs> creates a territory. So, you know, at the same time, maybe it's not good. Somebody said something like, hey, all those FX4, all FX6s is making way too much. Uh, it's like they're on a treadmill. That wave maker's all the way cranked up and this dude's just sitting here. So I don't know what that person's experience is, but my experience with, with just the wave, <laughs> again, this is with the wave maker all the way up. These guys are chilling. Like he's not even moving, you know? So, you know, he's, if you call it swimming backwards, he, you know, they're just, they're able to just sit there. Like he's not even moving. So, you know, I don't know who said that, but anyhow, that's the internet. Internets. These guys are looking good, so I just want to shoot a video. It's just always cool, man. I miss my fish when I'm gone and come back from working, and um, they just look big, man. Like when you hadn't seen them all, especially in Signus. Look at those two together. That dude is huge. I can't even get it. He's just hanging out back there in the back. That dude is massive. I mean,. He's like the size of a brim or something. Both those guys right there. Just huge. You know, and you look at the size of this dude. Yeah, he's my small guy now. So, Yellow Blaze, I rehomed him. He just, he was just not growing in here and he kind of wasn't holding his own. Nobody was picking on him, but he was just like, I don't think he's real happy, so. Uh, I took him out. That's about the only change that's happened in here. So, I hope you enjoy the video. I ain't much to talk about it. You know, I got to get in here. You know, I like to keep all this stuff scrubbed up. So there's your calcium. Some people ask, like, what what's that white stuff uh, in my tank? And and they're talking about their tanks. And I'm just saying, hey, it's just calcium. So I just I have a dedicated sponge I use. So when I go to clean this, I'll scrub on that stuff. Um, I let, I do it during my water change. So when it's coming down, um, I clean it and then I got some of that water in a bucket right here and I'm squeegeeing that calcium out in the bucket, not in the tank. That probably, um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but, um, I can't see it being a bad thing taking that excess calcium out of the tank. So, you know, um, you're mixing salt in this, so it is what it is. So look at these two guys together. That's a big difference. There he goes. There's a sickness. He's cruising. That dude looks good. He's big. You see his fans picked a little bit from that red empress. You know, butt head. Um, Walter out, he's always kind of wild. So it's him and this Eureka Red. Them two kind of go back and forth a little bit. Not too bad. You know, just every once in a while. Everybody's pretty happy in here. They're doing good. Not bad for freaking cichlids, man. Let me tell you, because cichlids get a little wild. Man, look at that blue face. That's all. He wasn't that blue before I left. So that's cool to see his color really starting to come out here. That is cool. Yeah, there you go. When he turned, turned at me, you could really see that blue. That's really cool. What up, dude? He knows I'm talking about him. That's cool. What up, dude? Yeah, he's cool. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one.